works of art take various forms. The most interesting for many people and the most challenging are those that involve space and time. And in that sense, you're involving the fourth dimension, or at least you're referencing the fourth dimension. And you can do that like Alexander Calder with a mobile, or George Rickey with one of his pieces, or even Mark DeSuvero, where movement is a part of the work. But then there's this other notion of what happens over time. So you start a sculpture that is going to change, it's going to form, it, it, it has an intention. But it isn't necessarily going to be quite the form that you imagined it was going to be.